Hey guys, as some of you may know, I went to IOI, the International Olympiad in Informatics, which is the largest Olympiad in Informatics for high school students around the world. The IOI ended last week, and this year it was held in Hungary. This past week, however, I've been busy with school exams, but since they're mostly done now, I can finally have some time to reflect on my journey at IOI this year. So to start things off, I'm happy to announce that I got a bronze medal at this year's IOI. And while this is all good, I was actually aiming for a silver medal, so falling short of that goal left me a bit disappointed. Regardless, participating in the IOI was an incredible and enjoyable adventure. So let's delve into the event itself. This year, the IOI was hosted in Hungary, as I said before, and from the day I got there, I realized that the schedule is going to be packed. I was tired and sleep deprived from the long international flight to Hungary, and I barely had a day to recover before the first day of the actual competition. I also noticed that the practice contest and the opening ceremony were squished into one day, as opposed to being spread over two days, like last year in IOI 2022 Indonesia. And that sucked because that one extra day of rest would have helped a lot. So at the practice contest, we tested out the laptops that we're going to use for the competition and we practiced, you know, submitting to the submission system that we're going to use to submit our programs during the actual competition. The opening ceremony was also interesting. There was speeches from different IOI organizers. Uh, there was tap dancing and we watched people dance. We watched people solving Rubik's cubes on stage and they also played us the new IOI 2023 theme song. And this is a new thing because they've been doing it, I think, from last year. They've been making IOI songs every year. So that was quite interesting. So after the opening ceremony, the next day was the first day of the actual competition. And the first day didn't go as well as I hoped. So what happened was I managed to get quite a high score on one of the problems. I think it was question two. I got 85 out of 100. But after getting this uh, high score, I couldn't solve the last subtask, the last 15 points. And this led me to focus on that subtask instead of, you know, solving the other problems and getting partials and subtasks in those problems. And that made my score much less than what it could have been. And additionally, I also made like a last minute submission that had a small bug that could easily be fixed, but I didn't manage to fix it in time. So I guess that was also a bit disappointing. But after seeing the rankings of the day one, I think I was only around 25 points below the silver cut and I was well above the bronze cut, so I was still feeling hopeful. The next day, we visited some historical village where there was a lot of uh, interesting things about the history of Hungary. We even saw like a horse show where people were like shooting arrows at targets while riding on their horses and that was quite interesting. However, I don't think I really paid att much attention during this trip because my mind was preoccupied with the competition that was going to be scheduled for the next day. So finally, the second day of the competition has arrived, had arrived and I was determined to learn from my previous mistakes. So on day one, I managed to you know, get a high score on one of the problems, but didn't focus on the other two. So this time I decided to try all the problems and I managed to get many partial points. However, at the end, I couldn't finish implementing such a, a quite a large subtask because I had solved it on paper, but I couldn't finish up coding in time. And that made me, you know, not get as many points as I wished I could have. Uh, getting those points would have made me reach the silver medal cut on day two, but it, would have matter it wouldn't have mattered overall because I wouldn't have gotten a silver medal with those uh, points anyway. So I guess that did provide me some comfort of not being able to submit that last uh, subtask. So after the scores had been finalized, it felt like a weight had been lifted from my shoulders, you know? Like, I was still quite disappointed, but the competition was over. There was nothing more that I could have do done to change the outcome now. And there was something strange. It was quite comforting, actually. It was, yeah, it was quite interesting. And afterwards, we went to this adventure park and it was really fun. There was zip lines, huge trampolines, and canoe rides. So I met up with some of my friends, I went on canoe rides, 
and it was really fun. Uh, I think we also visited the zoo and we saw many different types of animals from all around the world and it was a really interesting experience. And this, this excursion felt like the first time I could actually enjoy what Hungary had to offer because I wasn't stressing about how I'd do in the next day's competition or stressing about what problems they might ask me. So yeah, that was quite interesting. Me and my teammates also went to this water park that was quite close to the hotel. Uh, it was quite refreshing because the weather was quite hot then and we went on many slides in the water park. Two of the, uh, two of the slides even uh, started at the top of a small tower and we had to actually take an elevator to get to the top of the tower. And while we were at the top, the views were very nice. And the slide was long, there was lots of unexpected twists and turns, and one of them even had like a sudden unexpected drop at the end. So that was really exciting and very fun. So overall, it was a really enjoyable experience. Even though it was quite disappointing, you know, to realize that I had quite a few opportunities to get a silver medal during the contest, my results weren't that bad, and I'm quite happy with my bronze medal. So yeah, that is my reflection of this year's IOI. I hope this was interesting, and see you in the next video. Thank you.